Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a very hard cataract. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision, about three o'clock hours away. And now, I wanted to make another stab incision, but I didn't do it at this moment. A big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. A few drops of adrenaline is applied. The dye is washed out with PSS. This is a 23G Simco. The people has dilated very well and if this amount of dilatation remains throughout the surgery it becomes quite comfortable to the surgeon. But let us see what happens. Visco is applied over the cornea. This is 2% ASPMC. And now capsulorexis. The anti-capsule is incised with a needle. And now the utrita forceps is used to do a large rexis. The size of this rexis aimed at is about 6 millimeter because this is a hard cataract as hard as probably a piece of granite and this is a nice rexis large but round and now hydro dissection small amounts of BSS is injected at this point at around 2 o'clock then the BSS is injected at around 7 o'clock and now as I keep injecting BSS I try to rotate the nucleus and it rotates. I am constantly injecting PSS so that the anterior chamber remains deep. Now this is Visco again 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now with high vacuum and high flow rate and with high ultrasonic energy I enter into the anterior chamber. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Ultrasonic energy used is 85 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Background is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now watch the submarine chop. The tip of the phaco needle is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. The chopper supports the anterior surface of the intraocular lens and reaching near the opposite equator the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two portions. Sometimes the portions are equal 
that we can say hemineucleus in this case the two portions are almost equal and now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree and try to separate the two hemineuclei from the other side and the it has completely separated into two halves and now again the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus and this hemineucleus is chopped and this nuclear fragment is free now I chop this large fragment into two smaller pieces and as I try to emulsify this piece you can see that the people has become small at this time the size of the people is about 4.5 or yes 4.5 or 4 millimeter but since the rexis has been of adequate size we can manage this if the people retains this size but if it becomes smaller than this then probably it will become difficult and I will have to use a people expansion device Uh, here it is I'm emulsifying the nuclear pieces now ultrasonic energy being used is 85 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury So still a long way, two large fragments are still there. This fragment is being divided into two smaller pieces. The ultrasonic energy is in continuous mode, but I am using the ultrasonic energy only when I am going to emulsify something and I am using the ultrasonic energy intermittently and watch the there is no own burn and this is the last piece at this time I reduce the vacuum and floor it and with the chopper I supported the posterior capsule in this case Now you can see there is some cortex at 12 o'clock. To remove this cortex, I was thinking of going through the left side port, but then I decided to make another side port between 6 and 7 o'clock. And this side port has been made from conjunctiva taking a rim of conjunctiva and if we make incisions like this with keratome this incisions doesn't need any hydration and if it is little wider than the size of the Simcoe if it is about 1.8 millimeter the wound is not stressed and it seals nicely so the cortical cleanup is being very nice from the 6 o'clock sideboard and now cortical cleanup is done and 
visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and then filling up the anterior chamber nicely uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag and now we have to remove the visco very nicely I'm irrigating the capsular bag at this moment irrigating it very nicely now irrigating the anterior chamber irrigating the posterior chamber and a thorough cleaning of visco is done and then the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on other side and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed very nicely integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills we must not be afraid of challenges. We must face challenges and overcoming those challenges we can raise the bar of our skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.